going to be adding color to this piece, though you may want to leave it black and white by just adding shading to give it a more of a three-dimensional look. When you add color to Scrimshaw, the rule of thumb is to start with the darkest color, then go to the lighter colors. By doing this, if you happen to miss or go outside the lines, it won't show up as much. Select a starting point with the darkest color. In this case, it will be green. Start to incise or engrave the areas you're adding color to. Start at the black edge and move inward. This way, if you slip, you'll just be adding to the part that you are going to be incising anyway. Engraving from the center of the intended color area out to the black line could cause you to compromise the work you've already done. I recommend a two-handed approach for this. Your engraving hand will be holding the tool while your other hand will be placed to stop the tool from going too far. I put my index finger against the index finger of my engraving hand and press against it. Then reduce the pressure on your engraving hand just enough to allow the tool to move but not move too far. The depth of the incised lines should be about the same as the black lines you made previously though you can go slightly lighter since you're not going to be burnishing. Using a triple zero paintbrush, dip into the ink and then lightly stroke the brush on a paper towel so you don't have too much ink on the bristles. When you touch the bristles to the incised areas, there should be a slight capillary action where the small grooves in the ivory will actually pull the ink from the brush. Too much ink will make a blotch, too little, and the capillary action will not happen. Once you've finished one color, take a break. Come back to it in about five minutes and look it over. There may be some areas that looked fine while you were working so close, but when you give it a second look, either needs more color or in some cases less. Removing color can be tricky. You'll only want to do this once and clean the affected area very carefully. Using the scribing tool, gently draw the tip through the areas you want to lighten. Just enough to remove some of the ink. Don't try to remove all of the color completely. Using your brush, you can dilute the ink and water, wipe the tip slightly on a paper towel again, and re-ink the areas with the lighter color. Doing this more than once could ruin your piece, though. If it still doesn't look quite right, take a break. Review what worked and what didn't, and move on to the next color. Experience is king, and you'll be doing many more pieces, I'm sure. Once you've added all the colors and you're satisfied, I recommend coating the ivory with a glossy spray varnish to protect it. Follow the directions on the can, let it dry completely, and enjoy your brand new scrimshaw.